We have arrived at Twilight Princess. This one's a favorite. I only played it once when it was on the Wii, but... I'm looking forward to this one. Let's try not to have what happened with Wind Waker and... Minish Cap <laughs> with the final heart piece. I have to let this play out. I'm not skipping it. Man, I remember getting the Wii and then just seeing this. Because I think this was the first 3D Zelda that I played properly. Because, uh, like, so I grew up on the 2D ones, and then I never had a Nintendo 64 or a GameCube. You know exactly which heart piece I'm talking about in the Minish Cap. Of course you do. <laughs> Wind Waker was just a wild goose chase because I misread. I'd found most of them on my own, and then when it came down to the final one, I went through the list, you know, going, okay, yep, found that one, found that one, found that one. And one of them, I guess, I, I misinterpreted because it involved taking a photo. And I was like, oh yeah, I took a photo and I got a reward for that. It was like a chart. So in my mind, I had done that. But then it was taking a photo of someone else. And so I kind of missed that detail because it was late. And so it just ended up in me sailing around the world for about two hours. Like just, I pretty much, I pretty much went to every single spot where there was a heart piece a second time. So that was not fun. And then Minish Cap, it was like the opposite. I knew where the heart piece was, but... The process to get it, it has to be the single worst thing I've had to do in a Zelda game. But other than that, you know, Minish Cap is fantastic. Love it. Anyway. I'm gonna do my best to not let that happen here. Um... What do I call? Hang on, I'm thinking. I guess stick with stick with the convention that I've been doing. You know, Minish Cap was lank. Now it's lank. Uh, can just keep it for now. Double damage. No hearts appear. I'm good. I think that's a lazy way to do difficulty. I've said this before. Just Terraria does something similar. Tell me, do you ever feel a sadness as dust falls? They say it's only when our world intersects with the stars. The only time we feel the lingering regrets of spirits who have left our world. That is why loneliness always pervades the hour of twilight. But enough talk of sadness. I have a favor to ask of you, Lank. I was supposed to deliver something to the royal family of Hyrule the day after tomorrow. And yes, it was a task set to me by the mayor, but would you go instead in my stead? You have... Never been to Hyrule, right? In the kingdom of Hyrule, there is a great castle, and around it is a castle town. A community far bigger than our little village. And far bigger than Hyrule is the rest of the world the gods created. You should look upon it all with your own eyes. It is getting late. We should head back to the village. I will talk to the mayor about this matter. My file names, I mean, before streaming, have always been just my name. That's it. Kind of boring. 
but I think for me playing through these games, I was like, yeah, let me just go through just weird ways of spelling it. I think the first one was just L-A-N-K, just to be like, yeah, this is how Americans say it. Lank. Oh, you're going to play as Lank? All right. Lank. And then Lank, Lunk, Lonk. I think I did Lonkles as another one. Now we we'll just have like the fancy way with an H. Came out in 2002, so it's been 11 years. Wait, has no? Was it 2002? Hang on, did I get it wrong? Twilight Princess release. This wasn't 2002. Hold on, 2012. Right. That came out in 2006. Okay. Where did I get 2002 on? I think that was Minish Cap. Anyway. Yeah, no, Wind Waker was 2002. Okay, that's what I'm thinking of. Hey, Lunk, you there? Hey, you mind helping me herd the goats? They ain't listening to me lately. I mean, that's still... still a long time. Hey, where's a pony? Okay. Hey. Come on now, hurry up and bring a pony with you. I got a. I won't remember any of the details, to be honest. Like, it, it was just that long ago. I mean, other than vague memories of what the dungeons were, like, thematically. And this part. Oh, hi, Lunk. I've watched the pony for you. I do remember people were super happy about Twilight Princess just because with Wind Waker, the visual style I mean, whilst it looked good, it's just they demoed a realistic looking Link for the GameCube and then announced like a cell shaded Link as the main game, which people were not happy about. And then when finally this one came around and they saw how realistic it was going to look, definitely people were happy. I have to talk, hang on. Maybe I have to talk to her. Stop. Her pano works really hard, so I thought she deserved a treat. Oh, but listen, Lunk, can you do something for me? Can you use a piece of grass to play that song for me? You know, the one a pano likes. Oh, yeah. No. I gotta get far enough to do this, and then... This. Mm. 
It's such a nice melody. The painter looks happy. Well, she's all prettied up now, so I suppose you can ride her back. But don't make her do too much, okay? Okay. <laughs> now, I can't remember if you can hurt the horse, but like, one thing I took pride in in Breath of the Wild was that I never hurt the horse. Not once. However, when it came to the final fight where you had to fight Ganon, I believe the horse ate crap before. Like, just pretty much right before the final shot, the horse did die. But up until that point, the horse was fine. There was no damage or anything. And I was proud that, you know, a lot of people talked about injuring the horse and having to go resurrect the horse. Not me. I took care of my horse. Except for that last part where it had to valiantly give its life. But you know, I didn't fall off a mountain or something. I think I can safely assume I don't have to be careful at the start when it comes to talking to NPCs. Hey. Ah, great timing, Lunk. There was something I had forgotten to tell you. My son Colin is making a fishing rod so the two of you can play together. He should finish it today so you come get it at the house tomorrow. Colin. Oh. Hi, Lunk. I'm making a fishing rod, you know. All I have left to do is paint it, so get ready for fishing. I forget whose fault it is. <laughs> Colin's the one that gets bullied, but there's some other kid that's just annoying. And I, I always blamed it on that kid. about this is I don't feel like this might seem weird but this doesn't feel like it's visually upgraded even though I know it is I think this is kind of representing how I felt like the game looked like back then sorry to get you over here in such a rush Link these guys have been awful skittish lately they won't listen to a word I say sorry to ask bud but how's about you and the pony heard him real quick into the barn we ain't got much time, so you think you can do it for me? I have to come back here and do the minigame. Much obliged there, bud. Okay. Go on and add these little scamps into the barn for me. Oh my god. Please, please don't let this be like the chicken game. Okay, there's no timer, so we're okay. Later there will be. You know, it's one of those things where I bet if I was to have the Wii version and put it up side by side, then I'd notice. I'd be like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's clear. This is like, obviously, up upscale textures and all that stuff. No, what are you doing? The other thing I'm kind of curious about is the controls, how it's going to work. I mean, I would assume they're just translating it to button imports and nothing else. Lonk and Pyrona are much obligated. Obligated. Ob obligated? O obliged. I had coffee just not too long ago, so... English. Obliged. <laughs> Both of y'all. 
I can cover everything tomorrow without having to trouble you, so just sit back and relax. Oh, but, uh, how about today? Wanna to practice with fences? Just wait a spell, but I'll get them fences set up. I still haven't quite recovered from the stupid heart piece from last night. Whew, sorry that took so long. Okay then, y'all ride all you want. Y'all get tired of riding, just jump the gate and head back to the village. I mean, it's just that, pretty much, and then... Excuse me. Dude, why didn't you jump? <laughs> no, don't get off the horse. I think I just need more of a run-up. Hang on. There we go. Sure, why not? Press down and choose save option. Okay. Hey, wake up, Lunk. It's morning already. I always thought the kids in this game were really weird looking. One of them just looks like... Like a Benjamin Button type baby. You know, like... Just... Is 40 years old, but looks like a baby. No, ladder. Kick the baby. <laughs> I'm not gonna make a kick the baby reference. I know there's something down here. Hang on. Maybe I need... The I need light, but... I thought maybe I could brute force it by... No, there it is. You can see it, see? It's here. It's not giving me the option to open it, though. Yeah, okay, it's not allowed. But I know it's here. Apparently not allowed to open unless there's a source of light. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's a baby, it's it's just a, a kid. Like this this one here, not that one. You know which one I'm talking about, this one. You know what I mean? Like, I just expect the deepest of voices to come out of this child. Like, oh yeah, hey, how's it going? You what? <laughs> oh, Link. Lunk, did you hear? <laughs> They're selling a slingshot at the store right now. A slingshot! I wonder how powerful it is. I need, I must try it. Talo, if you and Mallow want it so badly, just buy it at my parents' shop. Do you see any rupees in my hand? I can't afford that thing. Come on, Beth. Can't you just learn it to us for a while? You know I'd get into trouble for that. If you want it, save up your allowances or something. But our allowances are terrible. Aw. Oh, I wish I was born into a family with a slingshot instead of one with a water wheel. That is canonically that character's voice now. <laughs> Hi, Lunk. Uh, I finished the fishing rod I was making. Thought I'd give it to you first thing in the morning, but my dad said you just wait until Lunk comes get gets it. So that's why I didn't bring it to you. Dad's out today. So would you ask my mom about it? She's by the river. Don't I have to do like a demonstration to these kids? Wait, 
Right, that goes to... Well, hey, morning, Lunk. Got a day off work today, my boy. Not me, the wife's been hassling me. Today's the day to restock our store. Look, see that? Up in the tree? You can get a better view by pressing... Okay. So yeah, some Auron bees built themselves a fine nest up there. And I was thinking about knocking it down. A cat hasn't come home since yesterday, so the wife's in a bad mood. At the very least, I need to bring her something. Like that. There we go. Oh, I'm um, good morning to you. Did you come get the fishing rod that Colin made? I'm really sorry, but would you hear me out first? Have you not seen a cradle come floating by here, have you? This is a baby's cradle made out of finely woven tree bark. Oh, such a misfortune. How far could it have drifted, I wonder? I really don't remember this part. <laughs> oh, that's right. He swims with one one arm. I always found this weird. That's not how he's. I mean, I'm not the strongest of swimmers, but I, I feel like this is not how you swim. I mean, maybe in a lake, but Australia doesn't really have that many lakes. At least the ones we have, they're not natural. They're man-made, so. Swimming at the beach, you get taught about riptides and all that stuff. And I feel like the way Link is swimming right now, it's it's no good. Hmm. Well, we know where that is. I mean, that's one thing that you definitely get taught here, is how to swim. Yeah, Lunk, up here. I want to talk to you. Oh. Hey, there you go, over here. Yeah, your voice carries well, as usual. Maybe you can teach my tax that you've got to press A while Z targeting to talk to people from a distance. They don't get it. So listen, why don't you climb up those vines there, Lunk? <laughs> but yeah, hang on. Yo, there you are. Check this out. You know Sarah at the general store? Well, isn't that her cat over there? He's just been sitting there next to my house having a staring contest with the creek. You don't suppose he's thinking he's going to catch a fish, do you? Haha, <laughs> a cat can't catch no fish. Anyway, that's not what I was meaning to tell you about. I want you to take a look at something. See that grass over there? On the edge of the rock? Haven't I seen you whistling on that stuff? I figured it was pretty rare to see it growing in a place like that, so I thought I'd just let you know. I bet you could hop across those rocks with a quick little, um, yeah. I'm sure this, this isn't the reason. Why? Why we learned to swim in Australia as kids. But so we had a prime minister that uh, went missing at a beach and presumed drowned. Like, I think the story is that um, they assume like a riptide took him out and then, you know, that was... That was the end of it. Why did you fly away? But that's not what I'm trying to say, is like... In honor of, um, you know, his death, they started a swimming acad academy in his name. So it's like, that was the way they honored him. He drowned, so let's start a school where people learn to swim. <laughs> uh, it's not a nationwide thing, but I just figured that's kind of... 
dumb and funny. But yeah, we all take... Really? We all learn to swim properly. Now, that's not to say I know how to swim properly, but at least I have some knowledge of what to do if, like, a Riptide does something. I'm just saying, swimming with one hand, probably not, uh, on that list of things to do. What do you mean? What? <laughs> Does it is it no 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 I'm overcomplicating it. Oh for fuck's sake. <laughs> There's another set of reeds there, do it from the closest set of reeds. Yeah. Maybe I, I need to get like another coffee or something. <laughs> I'm not reliant on coffee. It's just... If I haven't slept well, then... Somewhat necessary. I will even out eventually. That one's for the, the hive. The one behind me. I thought this was like the seagull in Wind Waker. Where you could control it. Oh, Lunk. That cradle. Did you go through the trouble of get finding it for me? My thanks to you. Oh, that reminds me. There is something I'm supposed to give you. You think you could carry that cradle, cradle and come with me back to my house? And you got a... What is going on with the footsteps there? <laughs> what is going on with Link's feet? What is happening? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? I'm pressing up and he's doing... He's kind of like turning sideways. My thanks to you, Lunk. Yes, yes, I had nearly forgotten. I'm supposed to give you this. Alright, here you go. You got a fishing rod, a simple fishing rod with a bobber. Set it on the item screen to use it. Okay. You can catch fish without bait, but you'll catch a larger variety of fish with bait. It's a little unpolished. My son Colin made this under the instruction of his father. You can use it if you like. Okay. Uh, let's just set it to that for now.
I remember. I thought maybe that would give you something, but... Maybe not. Camera. There we go. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, it's fine. No fall damage. Knees weren't shattered. That's fine. do this. I'm not pressing anything and yet it's doing that. Hopefully. Maybe it's the other one that you can do railing on, and this one's just aim. Okay. I'll be surprised if this doesn't work. There's gotta be something I'm missing to this. <laughs> what is going on, fish? Fish! Take the bait! Twilight Princess HD fishing. Oh, what I want to say. Is 
But see, this is the thing. This is the scratch. I knew it involved moving the rod. But it's not moving. And I'm pressing the buttons, like the analog sticks. So something's not right here. The bob are going up and down. Unless... Hang on. No, the gamepad's not active. Oh, wait. It is... Oh, shit. Why is it like this? Hang on. No, I think that was just a coincidence. What? Yeah, it's definitely not receiving any input there. So what is going on? Because the way I remember this is you would sway it from left to right. Once it goes down, push all the buttons at its deepest point. What do you mean all the buttons? a little clunky. What a little dick. Let's just make sure I, I do that again. You just press the fishing rod button again. You just press the fishing rod button again, which, whatever. So that is, that is a comically large fishing rod. <laughs> like how long, how long is this thing? Or is Link just tiny? <laughs> How do you put it away? There we go, you stand still. Okay. Look, I saw all that. Calling down the hawk? Why didn't I think of that? I was thinking of trying to knock that down myself, but you maybe beat me to the punch, my boy. Morning, Lunk. Sounds like Fado is handling things at the ranch on his own today. When he's up there alone, I always figure some calamity or other is going to happen. It's headed for the town. Someone stop it. First try. Ah, oh, Fado did it again. These guys have been awful skittish lately. You always gotta be on your toes. Sorry about that, Lunk, but thanks to you, that goat didn't get away. You can pet the goat. Good game. Where did that thieving cat go? Huh. Huh. 
When my son Colin grows up, I want him to be just like you. He really is a sweet boy. He can just be a little timid. what Elsa wants to do in this town. I think I've done most of the stuff. It's locked. Okay, so it's not that. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, oh, did you need... Ilya for something. Sorry, Sonny, but I was told that if you came by today, I wasn't to let you inside. She's locked herself in a room, working like crazy on something or another. Huh. Okay. What haven't I resolved? This door's open. Doggo! Okay, I can pick up Doggo and I can hold Doggo like this. That's as good as petting. <laughs> oh, hi, Lunk. Welcome. If you're looking for my hubby, he took a break from working and went outside. I wouldn't be surprised if he's taking a nap somewhere. He's in the middle of making a shield for Colin's dad, Russell, right at the moment. See? See it? Right over there. Though it looks like far from being done. So he came all this way to find him out and about. Window. Okay. Having a nap somewhere, Remember if you've peed in this game, it is a long one. Hey, confirming. Hang on. Where is this person? Maybe I got this wrong. I mean, I guess that's another angle for the hive. This is a super early stream. Yeah, I wanted to dedicate today to Twilight Princess just to get a bit more done with it. Plus, it's a day off and yeah. Just means it's a better time for North Americans <laughs> instead of the usual. 
I would have gotten up earlier and started earlier to kind of include Europeans into this, but like, unfortunately, the Minish Cap and that stupid last heart piece just. It, uh. Yeah. <laughs> just like Wind Waker. Ah, uh, that was an ordeal. What time is it? It's 2 p.m. here. Oh my, Lunk, come in. You must simply hear this. My little kitty cat is amazing. Today, he caught a fish all by himself. How do you think he caught it? Maybe he's a genius. Oh, look, isn't he cute? The way he laps up that milk. Say, my dear, why don't you have some too? I'm in a good mood, so it's on the house today. Okay. I mean, I still know that it's night time now, but, you know. Ah, I love that sound. Well done. If you aim properly, he might bring something back, you know. That is a cute cat. It was pretty cute. Saw my fish, but cute. The only thing that's missing is the husband, I guess. I could have sworn you do something at the ranch, but maybe I'm mistaken. Hmm. The guys are getting loose. Teach them a lesson for me. Okay. Well, I mean, I stopped the goat. What's going on, Lunk? I thought I told you to take the day off, bud. Everything's fine around here. I'm keeping a close eye on the scamps, and that's the truth. Uh-huh. No, that, that would totally be... ...a lie. I still can't believe that in Minish Cap, the, the shield at the end was just... <laughs> Bigger on eats your shield and then it's like, you have to wait 20 minutes to get it back. I would have, I would have done it, but I wasn't going to play 20 more minutes. Spoiler for a game that's like 20 years old? Okay. Oh, you got it. I hope you like it. Aren't you off work today, Lunk? Come on, Beth, we just want to look a little. Slingshot from the shop. Yeah, if you can't do that, let's just trade families. Knock it off. I need to go get the slingshot. That's what I'm missing. Hang on, which one's the shop? That's the house. This is the shopping. Hang on. Who dies in Final Fantasy 7 <laughs> and someone replies with me. Okay. 
I'm sure you'd never do anything of the sort, but these kids these days toss out like the whole world's disposable criminal. So what do you say, Medea? Is there anything you want today? If you're interested, take a look around. Excellent, we have enough. What you are doing is buying a slingshot, you naughty thing. You're too old for toys. Will you at least let the kids play with it? I should tell, if you happen to run out of pellets, you can also use pumpkin seeds. Children love this item. Okay. There we go. Be larvae that can be used for fishing. See, that's what I remember. When you shot- when you got a beehive, you'd pick up the beehive parts. But that wasn't an option here. Larva. Larvae. Oh no, there it is. <laughs> but I don't have an empty bottle. What's in it? It's just milk. I mean, for now, let's just keep it. I can always come back for it later. It'll be there, I'm sure. Hey. Ah, just in time, Lonk. I just delivered something to your room. Oh, I see you got the fishing rod. Colin will be pleased. And it works better than you would think, right? Well, have a good one. So this is what you would call a good tutorial. Because you're not aware that it's really a tutorial. As much. You're doing stuff around town. And it is explaining controls to you, but... It kind of... It sets the tone of the things you can expect to do. Now, because I'm going to be playing this pretty much all day, I will be taking periodic breaks just to, one, split the VOD, but two, also get water and stuff, because it is a bit warm here today. But just pointing that out for now. Okay, pull out the thing shot. Wait. <laughs> Damn, you kids are quick. Lunk has a slingshot. Wow. Wow, you had enough money to buy it, Lunk? I mean, we'll see. I mean, eight hours from now is 10 p.m. my time, so yeah, probably. We'll still be going. Ah, uh, this is great. Let's see how powerful that slingshot is. Hits their targets and scarecrow. I can't believe you two brats are so obsessed with this. It just shows what little boys you both still are. Though, these two idiots will never shut up about it, so I guess you'll just have to show them, Lunk. That's amazing, Lunk. The slingshot manual said that it's easier to hit things if he holds that off. Did you call us obsessed with this thing? You're the one memorizing the manual. Wait, but then... Kinda better. It's a little bit clunky. Whoops. <laughs> Amazing! No, it's not. Yeah, thanks, Lunk. Gee, you really are amazing, Glunk. Yeah, you are, and you can use swords and slingshots and everything. Hey, yeah, that reminds me, you gotta teach us how to use a sword, too. Seriously, lately these monkeys have been coming out of the woods and playing tricks on us. We want to get them good. Come on, teach us how to use a sword. And this is where it goes south. Yes!
All right, first off, we want to see that move. The slice. Uh, swing with B, right? Whoa, a horizontal slice. Was that it? Was it? I think I've seen you do a vertical slice. All right, next. I want to see that other move, Link. Yeah, the one where you tilt up was... Okay. Flex your muscles. Flex flex those pecs. <laughs> oh, please, the stab. Okay. Oh, that's so great, but that wasn't a stab. What are you mumbling about? Link did that on purpose. I mean, right, Lunk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just amazing. Since you're at it, how about you show us another move? You know, the twirly thing you do? Like, it's hard to briefly hold B and release it. Oh, wow. Thanks, Lunk. I'm sorry you have to waste your time with these little brats when you must be tired from doing all of that important stuff you do. Hey, wait. You gotta show us the dump jump attack before you go. You know the one where you go, Hyah! and leap through the air? Okay. Whoa! Thanks, Lunk. So, uh... I think I get it, kinda. Maybe, hmm? Maybe not. So this means that any time one of those naughty monkeys shows up... Ah. Huh? <laughs> Come here, you! Yep. Talo and Malo went chasing like crazy people after that monkey. I can't keep up with those two. They went that way. The rest is up to you, Lunk. That voice. Like, that child has got, like, a real Stewie Griffin vibe to it. Yeah, because as if I didn't get enough of, uh, chopping grass down yesterday. <laughs> No jump. I was going quick enough. I'll oh, piss. There we go. Serious music. You found the play wooden sword, it's Talos. I 
seems a, a bit... I don't know if the contrast is a bit high or low, I don't know. Fire, we need fire. Or do we? Maybe I can just slice through it, let's just see. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, we need fire. It's fine. Kind of figured. Really? Whoa, an Ordonian. Hey, guy. Listen, I'm not sure you should be wandering around the woods without a lantern. Just because daylight doesn't mean it's safe. There are a ton of caves and dank spots around here that get pretty dark, even in the middle of the day. Here, come on, take this. Okay. You won't be able to use it without oil. Right, the oil thing. See, I, see a la I sell lantern oil here. I'm trying to drum up sales by giving away free lanterns. It's a business tactic, guy. See, as long as you've got oil to fuel your lantern, you can light your way and set stuff on fire. They're the best. Go on, try setting a fire under that big pot. <laughs> Hell yeah, diaper man. That's a diaper? That's right. See, it's on fire, guy. Yeah, you keep using that lantern anytime you feel the need. And if it runs out of oil, just come and see me to get it refilled. Is that a diaper? I mean, I don't know. I see it as more like a pair of shorts with just a rope. Ugh, hold on, chat. My doorbell's going off. I think it's a stupid Uber driver that's going to last. Give me a minute. They don't stop ringing the bell unless I go see them. Same conversation every time. For those that don't know. Oh shit. Okay, so my lantern was draining oil, so. <laughs> Whoops. Can I get a free refill? No. Let's just see. How's the oil level? Fill your lantern to the brim for 20 rupees? No. Well, that's gonna happen sooner rather than later. Um, yeah, it's the same conversation every time. They just are like, hey, your food's here. It's like, hey, I didn't order anything. Then they read out a house number. And they go, no, you've got the wrong place. And they go, are you sure? I'm like, yep. 
and then I point them to the giant number above the button they press to ring the bell. And then they want directions to, like, where they're going. I'm like, I don't know where this place is, dude. Look, <laughs> call the person you're delivering to. The amount of times I've had this conversation, I, I swear, I just, I cannot believe how often it happens. It's at least once a month. As a, as a bare minimum, once a month. Okay, I'm gonna go refill it, just in case, because, you know... Let's just not leave anything up to chance, you know? Because I should have a full lantern, it's just... Unfortunately, I left it out when I went to go check on the door. You know what the worst part about the conversation is? When I get the, the door, they, they, they're just annoyed. Like, you know, they're being... They're just being annoying. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Like, as if I'm the idiot, it's like, Hey, why didn't you get your doorbell sooner? I'm like, hey, why didn't you read the address? that you're looking for. Why don't you put some attention to detail into what you're doing? Anyway. I'm lighting this as more of a, a breadcrumb thing, you know? But I know, okay. I've been here. I don't think I can get that one. Oh, no, okay. Just by doing... I need the money. <laughs> I do remember that eventually I have to come back here. For a heart piece. That's one thing I vividly remember. Like, I can't get it right away. remember where it is, but I know that at some point I will have to come back here. Thank <laughs> you. 
I just love how everything violently explodes. <laughs> It's not just a simple death animation, it's just, oh no, things have to violently explode. Just for good measure. Yep. I mean, hey, oh, uh, it's not four paces, it's five. Oh, no. I don't remember that aspect of it. I feel like, uh... There's gonna be a lot more heart pieces on this one. I still haven't decided how I'm gonna roll with this one, like if I'm gonna go for 100% or not. Cause there's the Golden Sculptula thing, which... If I remember correctly, that was very, very tedious to do. I can try and see how I go, but... I'm not 100% sure I want to. Okay. This is how you do this, it's just... No! Link, just jump. Jump, you fool! <laughs> what was that? I had landed and then the game was like, no, no, no. Okay, go again. <sighs> yeah, precision platforming, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How did I make it the first time? Oh, there might be an easier way to do this, but... Hey. Like, maybe this is something I'm supposed to do later. But I feel like I could do it now. Hey. Hey. How did I land on it the first time? Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, and then... Um... You can't really control the tra trajectory of the jump. There's no way this is as hard as it, I'm making it out to be. Huh. 
Maybe let's try putting this away. It just doesn't grab onto the ledge. Like, I'm trying, but... I might move on. I think this might be something I can't do yet. Couple more tries. <laughs> oh, there's a chest behind me. I see it. Is this something I can climb? No. Insane. Hey. Jumps too far. How do you do like a little jump forward? Unless I do that to get across. Maybe that's the key. Leap strike to get across. Alright. Ah! Okay. Now. Leap strike to get across. Nope, still too far. A little bit further back. A little bit further back. This is not going to be worth my time, is it? It's like going to be something that I'm going to regret putting a lot of time into. I can feel it already. Ha! Ha! Oh. Okay. Hey. Yeah. I'm in. Oh. Okay. I think quite clearly I need something else. Oh, this was nothing to begin with, and I just got bamboozled into doing platforming that I shouldn't have done. This is the part where I need to come back because it's possible a hook shot is required. Yeah, that's just going back. All right, but I should feel I should feel accomplished that I did that. represented a gate, but no, red is where I came from. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Then... Should... Should be here. In this corner over here, there's a gate.
Okay. I will be collecting the money. I have to. Well, hey, well, you're super. Now just buy something. Oh, this is... Yeah. Hey, buy something, anything. Oh, this is to... Hang on. Um. Check. 30 rupees. Okay. <laughs> I will do that. And then you have to do this. Thanks. Hey, thanks so much. <laughs> thank you. Hey, thank you. Come back anytime. Drink the lantern oil. <laughs> you could steal from that bird. I did it accidentally and I felt really bad. I don't want to steal from a tiny bird like that. Because I thought it would take the money out automatically, but it didn't. You have to deposit it yourself. I wonder if... if you deposit extra, if it becomes happy with you. I never remember trying that. The look who got caught. If you hadn't come, Lunk, gee, me and that monkey would have got an Eden, probably. She's actually a pretty nice gal, that monkey. She tried to protect me, so we got captured together. Um, Lunk, you're not going to mention this to my dad, are you? He's always telling me to never, ever go into the forest, because he says it's dangerous. So I really can't tell him, really. You have to promise. Lunk. My son told me Tallow disappeared into the woods and had not returned. I came as soon as I heard. But it looks like you have brought him home already. I apologize. Such a task should not fall to you. Tell me, have you noticed how strange this woods become... Oh, seems lately. I feel uneasy about what may lie in wait. Anyway, Lunk. Tomorrow is finally the day you will be departing for Hyrule. I think it's a good thing I have given this task to you. Good luck and return safely. If you are lucky, you may even get to meet Princess Zelda. Ha ha ha. Okay. Did not drink the lantern oil, but I've talked about like how once I accidentally drank olive oil. Because I got home tired from work and my mother had put oil for some reason in the fridge inside a, uh, a drink bottle. One that looked pretty similar to the one that I used, so I just kind of drank <laughs> without looking. So, almost time for you to get going, huh, Lunk? How about we finish up early today? Okay. Wait. Oh, yeah, okay. 
Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a lot, but it was enough for me to just be like, Ah, what? <laughs> hey. Okay, then let's get this started. Hey now I'm being timed. No! <laughs> the way. Oh my god. This is as bad as the chickens from yesterday. What? You are right there! <laughs> what do you mean? Go in! You're too good for your home! In! <laughs> what was that? That one was right next to the door and didn't go in. I know I have to come back. Can I do it again? Oh. I ain't never set as much foot outside or on. Oh, y'all are making me jealous. Alright, I guess we'll, we'll come back to this later. I can't believe that one didn't go in. So, chat, this is one thing that I was confused when I played this the first time. Is that a mustache or is there, are those tusks? Because when I played this the first time, I thought they were tusks. Like, this was some sort of walrus person. But, uh, I, looking at it now with the textures, it looks more like a mustache. Well, nice work. I don't know why, I just thought they were tusks. They're tusks? No. The royal gift Russell told you about is ready. You should get ready for your trip to Hyrule Castle. Now, the royal family requested this gift specifically, so it's real special. It'd be bad if the representative of Ordon were to be late for such an occasion. You get me, lad? The path before you is a long one, my sweet horse, but please bear Lunk safely along it. Got impaled by a bull? <laughs> The tusks are lodged in his septum. What? What's happened? She's injured, isn't she? Look, how could you? You're pushing Epona too hard again. I bet you heard her leg jumping fences, didn't you? Now, 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 Ilya. Father! How can you be so easy on him? You're the mayor. You should start acting like one. You poor thing. They'll be alright, Epona. I'll take you to the forest spring right now. Once we soothe you in the spirit spring, you'll be better in no time. Name the horse Volgina. I already called it Epona. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna call it that. That's just gonna raise too many questions. Wait, Ilya. The only way I could balance it out is if I named my character Cock or something like that. Why, without a pono, the gift wouldn't be delivered on time. Oh, this won't do. I mean, I'm, I, may, I may as well just call call it by lewd stuff if I'm if I'm gonna do that. So I'm not gonna. 
It's already got a name, there's no way to change it, so... You do that when you start your file. How about I call it Twitch chat and then I can just smack the fuck out of it? Lunk, are you going to see Ilya? Maybe it's just me, but those guys don't normally let people through. I'm Lunk, you think we can, we can go see Ilya together? Like, when the horse strays too far away from God, I'll just hit it. Get that out of the way already. Because the thing is, once, uh, once things go down, I believe we can't come back here for a very long time. sleep. Where do we sleep? Did I not- I haven't seen a bed. We just- are oh, there. No, that's by the door. What? Where do we sleep? Unless it's down here and I didn't see it. Probably down there. Ah. Hey, we've been waiting for you, you know, Lunk. Yesterday was so much fun. Yeah, chasing that monkey was great. I was just telling Molly here about how he wanted to show it to him, but we let it go instead. Oh, you didn't get caught, Harlow. Oh, Colin. Way to spoil everything by telling your dad. Nice job. Yeah, thanks a lot. We got scolded by our dad something awful. I thought it was never going to end. I bet you're trying to go see Ilya, aren't you? Well, there's no way I'm going to let you pass. Oh, hey, neat, Lunk. Let me borrow that wooden sword. If I had that wooden sword yesterday, I could have handled all- I could have handled it all alone, easily. Come on. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, yeah. Wow, yes! With this thing, I'll show him. Lonk! Thanks. Those guys are always teasing me. What's so fun about swinging something like that sword around anyway? I hate it, it's scary. But when I grow up, I'm gonna be just like you. I don't want to learn about swords or anything, but could you teach me how to ride a horse sometime? Can you? You have to promise. Grill them cheese. You have a grilled cheese? Yeah. I had some leftover pizza, so... Before, when I got up. So I'm good for a while. Mm. 
Plunk. If you came back to take a part of the back, you can forget it. Why don't you think about what you've done for a change? I won't open the gate until you change your attitude. Ilya, you don't know what happened yesterday. Listen, I don't know if she'll listen to me, but let me try to explain about Talo and the monkey, okay? You crawl in here through the tunnel in the back while I do. Now this is where the story starts. I had no idea. I hadn't heard the details about Talos' capture. But Colin... So you still prefer your master over me, huh, Pona? Don't worry about your horse, Lunk. Fortunately, it looks like the injury isn't too serious. You two can go on together. But, Lunk... Can you at least promise me this? No matter what happens on your journey, don't try to do anything out of your league, please. Just come home safely. Yep. Yes, that was the foreshadowing. <laughs> I don't know why I found it funny. It was like a cartoon getting clobbered by a bat. MLG Orc. <laughs> bow, bow, bow. <laughs> that was the MLG one. <laughs> Imagine that's how the portals are called, just with the, the air horn. I did like how dark this got though, like from this point onwards. You know. It seemed very wholesome at the start and then this happened. Dragging it away. I think Maiden it's probably the best assistant um, in a Zelda game, at least so far. But it didn't get in the way too much and just seemed okay.
plus as a character was, uh, yeah, pretty good. I think you need to just, yeah, do that, and then... I mean, there's, like, use your brain. You. Ooh, aren't you scary? Hey, are you sure you want to be doing that, snarling and glaring at me? Well, that's too bad. I was planning on helping you if you were nice. <laughs> that's much better. You humans are obedient to a fault, aren't you? Oops, but aren't- you aren't a human anymore, are you? You're a beast. There, there. You'd be a good boy and calm down. No need to bite. You look kind of surprised. So I bet you're wondering, where exactly are we? Well, I'll make you a deal. If you can get over here, maybe I'll tell you. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> 34. I mean, uh, a little bit, like... The camera angle from behind, I bet. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Get over here now. If you can't force your way out, why don't you dig a hole? There we go. Guess you're not completely stupid after all. Listen, I like you, so I think I'll get you out of here. But in exchange for my help, you have to do exactly as I say. If you need anything from me, just press L to give me a sign. So, are we all clear? Good. Now, come on, get moving. <laughs> I mean, I did like the exploration as a- as a wolf. Oh, well, well. <laughs> Wanna see something interesting? You're a beast, remember? Press X to hone your senses and poke around. Uh, can't run any farther. That's far enough, right? I think I'll be safe here, I think. What was that noise? Don't, don't, don't anything come near me. That was a soldier's spirit. Maybe it's someone from the other world. There are lots of other spirits roaming about here, you know. Hone your sensor with X. They might know things. The only thing I don't like about... The spirit thing. I doubt you're used to your new body yet, so I'll just tell you. 
Think about how you fought enemies in human form. Just because your shape has changed doesn't mean your instincts have as well. I can't remember if you could make it across that gap. I don't want to try and fail. I, I, I don't know. Okay, it's fine. That's all that was. <laughs> it was not worth it. I just keep smacking into a wall. It's okay, not used to being a doggo. Gonna ignore that. The things kind of remind me of the the symbiote, the, the one that makes venom. What are those black things? Where are they coming from? And how do we get out of here? Oh, come on. That's not what I was trying to do, but sure. What are these black monsters? I've never seen anything like them. This way, over here. I'll be waiting for you, but you'll have to help yourself for a change. Please, I'm but a lowly soldier. Please, someone save me from these evil creatures. Ah! Ah, did the detail tie you out, little wolf? By the way, are you using X? Yes! It looks like the spirits in here, they're all soldiers. Where in the world could we be? You want out of here, right? Okay, we're off. What are you doing? Well, 
But guess I have to do everything for you. Look, I'll show you the small ledges. Just target me and jump to where I am. I do remember that. Oh, on the rope. Here we go. Doggo on a tight... Tight rope. Stupid crates won't break. Okay. Finally made it to the top. Look, we're almost outside. Why don't you try find some footing that we can use to climb up? No, no, no. Wrong button. There we go. There. So, you know where we are yet? Well, if you go to the top, you might figure it out. It always did surprise me just that this was the castle. So we're finally able to get out. And look at the sky. Isn't the black cloud of twilight looking beautiful today? Do you know where this is? You still don't know? Look, there's someone I want to introduce you to, but I'll need you to go to that tower to do it. I've played A Link to the Past, right? Of course I have. <laughs> That's like, uh, yeah, the one I grew up with. So there are even spirits up here, huh? This whole thing is pretty new to you, isn't it? Even though those guys you can see, those monsters, they don't know a thing about you. If you think I'm lying, why don't you check it out? Use X to hone your senses. Dark World Sky. No, but A Link to the Past, it was... It was a separate world. It was the, uh... I forget what they called it. It was a different thing. Whereas in this is the same world, it's just been covered in, like, a twilight or something, and then... It's like the world is merging into this one. What are those monstrous birds? What in the world is happening here? Ah, poor Hyrule Castle. I think they just called it the Golden Land. And then it's like the nickname they use was the Dark World, but something along those lines. It was like the Golden Land that was changed to the Dark World because of uh, Ganon. Why isn't Link a bunny? That would have been funny. Kind of have that continuity, or at least a reference to it. Like, maybe not necessarily Link, but someone in this game having appearance as a rabbit, being transformed by the dark power. Look, just a little further. Oh, 
yeah, I, I loved uh, the dark tone of this. It was just different to what I had experienced in Zelda games. I mean, there was some element of evil stuff for sure, but... Like, these creatures are nightmare fuel. Particularly the little ones that, yeah, they just remind me of the symbiotes. Maidna? You, you, you remember my name? What an honor for me. So this is the one whom you were searching. He's not exactly what I had in mind, but I guess he'll do. You were imprisoned. I am sorry. Poor thing, he has no idea where this is or what happened. So, don't you think you should explain to him what you've managed to do? You owe him that much. <laughs> Twilight Princess. Listen carefully. This was once the land where the power of the gods was said to slumber. This was once the kingdom of Hyrule. But that blessed kingdom has been transformed by that king that rules the twilight. It has been turned into a world of shadows ruled by creatures who shun the light. Is the chick good or bad? The, the green one's good. It's just... Hello? Much like most of this world, it's been altered by these shadow creatures, so she's not her original form. It is time for you to choose, surrender or die. Oh uh, yes, a question for all the land and people of Hyrule. Life or death? Twilight covered Hyrule like a shroud, and without light, the people became as spirits.
Within the twilight, they live on, unaware that they have passed into spirit forms. All the people know now is fear. Fear of a nameless evil. The kingdom succumbed to twilight, but I remain its princess. <laughs> I am Zelda. You don't have to look so sad. We actually find it to be quite livable, I mean... Is Perpetual Twilight really all that bad? Meena, this is no time for levity. The Shadow Beasts have been searching far and wide for you. Why is this? Why indeed, you tell me. Time has grown short. The guard will soon make his rounds. You must leave here quickly. Please, you must leave quickly before the guard comes. Okay. Not that way, the guard's coming. Boy, he's prompt. <laughs> Can only imagine how excited emo people were when this game dropped, what, because of the art style? Well, do you understand where we are now? I guess a promise is a promise, so I'll let you go back to where you first tumbled into the twilight. But are you really sure you should be going back? Are you sure you aren't forgetting something important? Do you want to save them? Well, in that case, little me though would be happy to help you. But, well, you'd have to be my servant, and like my servant, you'd have to do exactly as I say. Why don't you go back, take a little time, and give it some thought. <laughs> you hate me, not because she taunts you? Eh... Uh, I mean, maybe it's just a test. She does it once. It's not like it's a constant thing. At least to that extent. Oh, that's right. I forgot to mention one thing. Though you may have left the Darkened Realm, you haven't transformed back to your former self and won't anytime soon. Now, why could that be? See you later. You know, it's just probably a test. Hmm, thought for sure that would be something. I guess that was just the way in here, which is no longer necessary. So, um, what next? <laughs> Did you think I disappeared? Listen, there's another thing I forgot to tell you. Don't think you can just run off and save your friends, because you can't. Just beyond that bridge, the land is covered in twilight. Last time, a shadow beast pulled you through the curtain of twilight. But if you want to go that way this time, you'll need cooperation from someone of the twilight, like me. So you really have no choice but to do what I say. Saving your friends and all that? Well, that depends on your actions. 
because you can never trust words, you know? Right now I want a sword and shield that'll suit me. You do understand me, don't you? So what do you plan to do while you're dawdling? The twilight continues to expand. Come on, hurry up. Is Link in wolf form? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that wasn't obvious. And the green one's made now. When we got pulled into that dark realm, we got transformed, so... Oh, they're here now. Wait. Thank you for taking care of those bad guys. They made both the village and forest a mess. They kidnapped the children. But I know you're not one of them. I can tell because you smell like the trees of Ordon. If you run into any trouble, try talking to the animals. We animals understand one another, so you'll be alright. <laughs> I think that was another aspect to it, was talking to animals. Oh, how did it come to this? The children, please say nothing's happened. Please forgive your good-for-nothing father. The squirrels are pretty cute, though. I came to it as we discussed. I think there's a couple things I need to do. I know where the shield is, and I know how to get in, it's just this other stuff I need to do first. I can talk to the chicken. Ha! Huh? Fresh face, huh? You're a sharp one to realize that you needed to come introduce yourself to me. If you want to know anything about this town, I can tell you. What do you say? Tell me. Let me tell you, this is a usually quiet little village, but there was a bit of a ruckus today. If you gotta know, monsters attacked the village and made off with the little brats. You look like a little bit of a monster yourself. If you're gonna be hanging around town, you may want to stay out of line of sight of people. Ah, to be a wolf on a night when the moon rides again. Beautiful. Tell me, is your true form a human who is not currently in the town? Nah, just teasing. You're lucky. You sharpen your senses. And your soft looking coat? Lovely. <laughs> I just got complimented by a hen. Okay, I think this is just that. Did 
There's probably a, a way to dig into a house. I keep hearing like a, a sparkle thing in my headphones. anything of value here. This is a pretty cozy home, though. Okay, out. One of these houses is gonna be the house of the kid that we lent the sword to. I thought it would be this one, but it's not. This is Colin's house. I don't think it'd be this house, because this is Ilya's house. So it'd have to be that one up the back. Maybe I had the right idea originally. about the shield. Hey, not so loud. I checked as we discussed. I think I need to be in like the right spot. So that shield is still in your house, right? Oh uh, yeah. Should be in our storage loft. Good. Go grab it as quick as you can. Russell got wounded pretty bad, so we can't go search for the kids. I'll take over for him. And Russell had a sword, Mayor. And he still got hurt. If you're unarmed, you're done for. It'll be fine. The sword we're going to present to the royal family should still be at Russell's house. Oh yeah, I understand, Mayor. I'll hurry up and get that shield. You just wait here. No good. Run! <laughs> Not so loud, there might be a wolf listening. <laughs> yeah. That's not a bad bit of information you had, huh? Ugh. Look at that wind open window. This village is full of idiots. So. We should jump up there. But from where? Monster! You've returned for more, haven't you? My daughter, return her and take this!
it's okay. There's a way to be sneaky about this. Hey, look at the cat. Weren't you attacked by that hawk? You're no match for him. I'm sorry. That person calling the hawk is my master's husband. You could sneak up from behind him, scare him. Meow. Still says meow. Come on, let's get up on the roof from here and scare that guy. Look at him, posing like he's all important. Wait until he sees us. Okay, found it, found it. Got the ore on shield. Okay. Oh, right. <laughs> it, gets, it can get burnt. I, I forgot this was a thing. It looks kind of cheap. All right, then. Next is a sword. Hurry up and get one. What was that sound? Oh, yeah. Then I had it right. The children could not have returned, could they? I must go out and search one last time. You get inside the house. I placed the sword that was to be our gift to Hyrule on the couch. If the mayor comes for it, please give it to him. But darling, your injuries. Uh, yeah. He's limping. Do I really have to be this patient? Chicken, you must distract. Be, be a, be a pal. Distract. Run interference. I can speak to frogs. To humans, this must seem like just an average country town, but to us, it's paradise. If you take a good look around this town, I can see stuff sparkling. If a wolf came up to you with a shield on his back, you might be inclined to help it. <laughs> I mean, at that point, it's like something's going on beyond maybe your understanding of the world. Alright, so now you have a sword. Looks like you can actually be useful when you concentrate. Alright, no more details. I'm going to take you back into the twilight. Go back to the woods where you first transformed into that shape. The ear-piercing seals the deal. 
Oh, uh, yeah. No, no, no. I don't want to do that. Wouldn't even notice. I guess that's the weird thing about this transformation is like your clothes kind of they they shift with you. You know what I mean? Like your clothes became fur. Wait. Come to my spring. You have been transformed by the power of shadow. Come to me. Beware, a shadow being, it approaches. And also, the way you attack these things is kind of brutal. You go for the jugular. No, I mean, just, just the way they look, the monsters. Just such a dark tone to it. Not a huge fan of this game and style, but the monsters are great. I think I have nostalgia for this one because this was the first 3D Zelda game that I played properly. Because I, I couldn't play Ocarina or Majora's, didn't have a Nintendo 64, and couldn't play Wind Waker because I didn't have a GameCube. So this was my first 3D one that like I played from start to finish. So my nostalgia for it is, uh, I guess, a bit higher. A brave youth. It was also on the Wii, which is, I guess, I think the first console I purchased for myself at launch. That wasn't like a hand-me-down or anything like that. A brave youth. I am one of four light spirits that protect Hyrule at the behest of the gods. I am Ordona. The black beast you slayed was a shadow being. It had come to seize the power of light I wield. You like the bright games like Wind Waker, Link Between Worlds, and Phantom Hourglass? That makes sense. I think they definitely chose to go to like the realistic darker side because I mean, the context here is the game before this one was Wind Waker, and it was, it there was a lot of uh, negativity around it because people wanted something realistic because <laughs> they had shown a tech demo of like 3D Link and it looked cool on the GameCube, and then we got Cartoony Link. So with this one, I think they they kind of compensated a bit for that. Anyway, I should be reading. To save this land from the king of twilight, the lost light must be recovered. The three light spirits who have lost their light must be revived. There is but one who can revive them and redeem this land. You. You still have not discovered your true power. Those transformed by twilight usually cannot recover their original forms. Unless if you were to return to Farron Woods where you were first transformed 
if you were to revive the light spirit. Thereby, the power of the light spirit, you may find the means to regain your other state of being. The text is a bit slow here. <laughs> This one did have the longest prologue, though. I kind of... Before you, you even... Reach a point where I guess it's considered now you're into the story, it's... It's quite a long opening. Like, I've been playing for two hours, and now I think we're at the point where I can say, yeah... This is... The game. It's pretty much from this point onwards. Hey, look. The Faron woods that you know so well, they're now covered in twilight. You might not be able to come back here, but do you still want to go? <laughs> yeah, that as well. Ugh. <laughs> Hmm, so these are the weapons you use in your world. You really think this thing can slay creatures of twilight? Well, I won't use these, but I'll hang on to them for you. See, now this is a good explanation for infinite storage. Alright, a promise is a promise. I trust you enough to help. In exchange for my help, though, I need you to gather some things for me. Look, I can't tell you the details now, but it'll be easy, trust me. But enough about that, do you hear that noise? It's the lamentation of the spirit that's had its light stolen. Where in the world could it be? Better get going, don't you think? Don't blame me for your world's fate if you don't hurry up and find that light. Come on, snap to it. Yeah, I mean, Midna has a personality compared to some of the other assistants. Like, I mean, the cap in Minish Cap did, but it was still very intrusive. Like, so many times I was doing the correct thing, and then the cap is like, Oh! Oh! <laughs> Are you sure you're doing the right thing? I'm going to give you a hint, and that hint is exactly what you're doing right now. This was a good balance for assistance. Ah, oh, we're penned in again. Psst. Who do they think they're dealing with? We need to take these little pests on one at a time, right? You can take them all at once. So, you can handle this by yourself, can't you? Good luck. Bye. Go for the junkyard. And conceptually, this was scary as well. What's the holdup? If you leave the last one alive, it's just going to shriek to bring the others back. Listen, let me help you out here. Just move like I tell you. Hold down B, and I'll expand an energy field, so enclose all the enemies with it and release. Oh. 
Go out. Yeah, now. Oh, no. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. No, don't disappear. <laughs> okay. Also, when you're on low health, just the rate at which it does the beeping thing. Very good. It's not one that's going off constantly. Please, be careful. These woods have changed. The dark clouds of dust cover this land. This drape of shadows is called twilight. In this twilight, those who live in the light become as mere spirits. It is a place where the dark ones and the evil creatures dwell. I am a spirit of light. Blue-eyed beast. Look. For my light, retrieve the light stolen by the dark beast and keep it in this vessel. The vessel of light. If you fill it with tears of light, you'll be able to cut through the twilight and return to normal in this place. To see these evils that hold the tears of light, use X. Okay. In the shadows of twilight, the dark insects are as invisible as normal beings are here. Let me use the last of my power to reveal the locations of the dark insects that's consumed by light. Okay, so just follow the path. Oh, there's a few. Alright. Find the insects of darkness. Dark insects. They are the form taken by evil once it latched onto our scattered light. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then these, like, dark piranha plant things. Ugh. They're just equally as scary. There's a branch off. Hold on. I need to go back. one nearby. Hmm. Looks like we can get in there. What's with these bugs? Those things aren't normal. They're so big, so weird and creepy. Come on, get away, bugs. Shoot, get out of here. What? They just died? Oh boy, I have no idea what's going on around here. Oh. <laughs> I almost left. It's fine. Alright, that's this area done. I don't think there's anything else to do here. Oh, 
that's the one thing that bothers me about wolf form is just the constant sparkle in your ear. <laughs> it's, it just happens over and over again, and like at that point, you can't really tell when there's something that you should be really caring about if it's constantly sparkling. Just want to make sure there's nothing else I'm missing. Mm -hmm. Oh. Was that just... That was just a shortcut back. <laughs> what a waste of time. Okay. But it's not even facing the same direction. Alright, whatever. Oh yeah, the poison lake. Or fog. The miasma. But you know what? Now that explains those stumps in the air. They were for the wolf, not for... Not for Link. Hey, think we can get across over there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Here we go. Got them both. Come here. There's one missing. That's just the one in the middle now. I guess I must have missed it. I just went past it. Okay. Alright, so it's somewhere here. Oh, okay. There we go. I kind of rushed it. Okay, <laughs> now 
now I can move on. Trying to get them all at once. There we go. <laughs> it is satisfying when you get a pack of five or six of them and you just lunge through them. Oh, the bird's not here. Someone, someone help me? Boy, lucky for me, ever since the boss went funny in the head, there have been scary monsters everywhere. Those village kids got led through the woods for some reason. The whole forest is so weird now, what happened? The vessel of light is full of tears, and light has returned to this area. Ah, oh, but it was so nice here in the twilight. What's so great about a world of light anyway? <laughs> See you later. Remember this. My name is Farron. I am one of the spirits of light who dwell in Hyrule. By the order of the gods, I protect this forest. A brave youth. In the land covered in twilight, where people roam as spirits, you are transformed into a blue-eyed beast. That was a sign. It was a sign that the powers of the Chosen One rest within you, and that they are awakening. Look at your awakened form. The green tunic that is your garb once belonged to the ancient hero chosen by the gods. His power is yours. His is the true power that slept within you. Your name is Lunk. <laughs> you are the hero chosen by the gods. Whoa, what a twist! Brave Lunk. A dark 
power rests in the temple deep within these woods. It is a forbidden power. Long, long ago, I and the other spirits of light locked it away. Because of its nature, it is a power that should never be touched by any who dwell in the light. But this world weeps beneath a mantle of shadows, and so there is no choice. You must match the power of the King of Shadows. If you would seek this forbidden power, then proceed to the temple in the forest depths. Well, well, you're the chosen hero and all that, huh? So that's why you turned into that beast. What a shame. I mean, maybe you'd rather just wander as a spirit like the rest of them, totally unaware of what was happening for all eternity, right? <laughs> so, what do you want to do? Do you want to head to that temple? Well, isn't that convenient? I was about to head there myself. Hey, look, you want to help your friends, right? The way I see it, maybe they're in that temple waiting for you to rescue them. Well, good luck, Mr. Important Hero. <laughs> See you later. Oh. Okay, chat. We're going to take a small two to five minute intermission. I just want to refill my water bottle and stretch my legs. It's been three hours, but like I said, today we're going to... This is all I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be playing this, so... Don't worry. There's plenty more Twilight Princess to come. But if you're watching this later on YouTube, this is where this part will end. I think it's a, a good chunk. Got the opening sequence done, but... Yeah, I just need a short intermission. And uh, we'll continue. <laughs> 